Invaders. A Quinn Martin production. Starring Roy Thinnes as architect David Vincent. The Invaders. Alien beings from a dying planet. Their destination, the Earth. Their purpose, to make it their world. David Vincent has seen them. For him, it began one lost night on a lonely country road looking for a shortcut that he never found. It began with a closed, deserted diner and a man too long without sleep to continue his journey. It began with the landing of a craft from another galaxy. Hey folks, it's Mike here for another Invaders video. Now this particular video is a special video because I want to talk about the Chaser. The first two ships that I built, the Chasers were um, custom made by me and uh, they were nice and they did rotate very similar to uh, that of the uh, uh, Tenet Controls uh, Chasers that you can put in this 7 inch ship. Uh, I added and made them a little more elaborate. They're, they're back on the other videos you can see. But there was never a chaser that actually moved like the real show. As you see the square lights kind of moving in each port. Now on the studio there's ten uh, vent ports at the top. And I think on the, on the uh, Atlantis or Aurora model there's like eight. So uh, this particular chaser I have five individual lights on each vent port on the 10 inch ship. Now um, I've made it special. Um, there's 57 millimeter lights uh, built into this thing. Um, they're all uh, a cool white, uh, diffused. I tried warm white and it didn't look right. And I had Rick down here and we discussed it. And uh, uh, you remember Rick from the last video? He's a big Invader fan and I wanted to bring him in to critique it and try to get these lights correct. So basically what we did was we both broke it down into trying to get the right distance of the light inside the ship. The tone of, uh, of the light means the, the light intensity and the color of the light and of course uh, the, the, the movement of these lights. And Rick's here tonight, and uh, we're going to talk about that, and we're going to break out the video, and, and he's going to explain what he thinks and what he likes. So uh, this is not a, a chaser uh, um, on the, that is very similar to the, uh, what do you call it, the Jupiter II chaser. This is a very complex chaser, and uh, it takes quite a while uh, to build it. But without having the right chaser you know, on this ship, I, I don't think it makes the ship as good as it could be. So um, I'm going to pan over and pass you over to Rick. Hey guys, how's it <laughs> going? Good to see you again. Uh. <laughs> okay, Rick, now I'm going to just move the camera okay. this way to our workstation. All right. Now, we are working on chasers today. And as you can see, we have a nice movement of a chaser light. Now I'm going to have Rick grab that. Now Rick grab that and I'm going to zoom in on okay. it for them so they can see. I was telling that if you look at the way the chaser is going around, mm -hmm. yeah, you don't see that super brightness that you're seeing in between. I don't know how, how else to explain it. And yeah. As it's going across, it's not hitting you right in the face. It's just the way it should be. If, if I'm looking mm -hmm. at the video itself, you're not seeing any yellow lights there. You look, or the yellow lights. You're looking at something right in between what Mike and I like. If you're looking at the video itself, yeah, which is just perfect. No, we, okay. Uh, what we're using right now is on the computer. We're using a, a clip of the original opening of the show as David Vincent sees the ship for the first time, and you'll see as I'm clicking slowly through each sequence. As soon as it comes across here in a second. Speed patient with me here. Okay, uh, it's coming. <laughs> no, <laughs> it was just light. Look at that glow. <laughs> yeah, no, it came down right over here. <laughs> <laughs> oh. yeah, no, <laughs> okay, 
thanks, Mike. Uh, what we have over here, guys, is that uh, we have uh, a shot of the original opening of the show as David Vincent sees the ship for the first time as it's coming down. Okay, so you've watched the sequence of the lights on top. Okay, as you're going across. And notice they're all the same sequence. With the slots, okay, of the openings over here, you see them coming across. Yeah, and there's a dark, it's very dark in between those lights. Eh? Very dark. See, it's completely pitch black. Yeah, see, as it's yeah. going past, so we don't have one light just sweeping through there. It's it's multi multi lights. Each one has individual lights. Yeah, yeah. Each one of those holes or vents mm -hmm. or reactor ports or whatever you want to say. Right. And the beauty of it too is that is that what you were talking about before. You don't have that flashlight effect because you don't want that. The bright light has to be at the bottom. Okay, where the engine is. Yeah. What you want to see is that that as they're going across, it's almost like landing lights, that's why I see them, mm -hmm. you know, and it's, it, as it's coming down, they're actually going faster and faster, once the ship has settled down, it's faster. This is a shot of the inside of the ship prior to putting the top on. And it's got a 9 volt battery there just to power it. And you can see uh, we have a little uh, controller here that controls the porthole flashing. Like there's something going on inside the ship. And there's a little man you can see looking down and these are like uh, perimeter sensors that come through with fiber optic and then of course this is a illuminating uh, laser gun or phaser gun I guess you could say but it looks pretty busy if you look at it like that on the inside of the ship and the wires those will go green there those are your main green pods and that's the main uh, hub there for the rest of the wires. So if you want to look at the other side, which is the main side to look at, basically what it's supposed to look is you look inside and you can see into the ship. And you can see that linking and of course this very soft illuminating laser gun. Uh, it's just a little effect for, for uh, George there. So I just have to paint the inner rim porthole silver now. I thought that looked kind of cool though. <laughs> 